This is the carbohydrate monomer glucose. It's a sugar. You must be able to draw it like this in organic chemistry form. Now we're modeling a dehydration reaction. This is the binding of two sugar monomers via this reaction. Two glucoses bind to form a maltose. Here we see the models we use in class demonstrating the same dehydration reaction. Regardless of the monomer, the dehydration reaction is essentially the same. Here we show a glucose binding with a fructose creating sucrose. In fact, we're going to use an abbreviated drawing for a dehydration reaction in this class. The circles here represent monomers, and this shows the formation of a macromolecule from three monomers. Starch is the form of carbohydrate plants use to store energy, and it's one that animals use as a quick energy source. While cellulose, in the second box, is undigestible by animals, it abrades our colon walls, causing the cells of our colon to secrete mucus and allowing us to defecate. The dehydration reaction is how all macromolecules are constructed from monomers. Autotrophs synthesize sugars from water and carbon dioxide using sunlight as an energy source. Heterotrophs must eat sugars. We can then use them to build structures in our bodies.